I'm so pleased to have all of you here tonight. What a wonderful opportunity it is, even though it's St. Patty's Day and I see some of the green, we'll save the Blarney for later. Because tonight what we're going to do is we're going to honor the nominees for this year for the Elgin Image Awards, those people that have wonderfully and successfully enhanced the image of our city. Sam Olson. And now it is my pleasure to introduce my fellow commissioner, Lauren Bellaro, to present the next award. So bear with me. I'm not nearly as entertaining as Kai just was. <laughs> so be patient. All right. Um, and an Elgin High School student who relishes in the Mod Podge of everyday Elgin life and its history has been quoted by the Courier News describing his enjoyment in the details of Elgin, its people, and how the many details of our lives have contributed to our city, America, and our culture. For the past three years, this young student has used his video camera to create numerous documentaries about the history and the goings-on throughout our city. Documentaries on Veterans Day Project, Elgin High School Thanksgiving Day Parade in Chicago, Nightmare on Chicago Street, the history of Elgin, and many other projects detailing interesting local sites and events have been captured by him. This teen's longest film describes the history of the Elgin Watch Factory Observatory and how it is still used as an essential learning tool for School District U46 and the surrounding districts. This student's video documentaries have been viewed by over 30, 34,000 people on YouTube. He has even started his own production company to showcase his passion. This production studio is called River Bluff Studios. According to the Courier News write-up, this student is planning additional films on Elgin Public Works projects and the history of the old Elgin, now Gifford High School. It is a privilege to have this highly talented high school, high school student in our community, and we enjoy his passion for documenting the history and the going-ons in Elgin. On behalf of my fellow commissioners, I am pleased to present a 2015 Volunteer Image Award to Samuel Olson. Uh, it is a great honor to be here today. Um, I was nominated last year, and I was so proud of that, just to be nominated uh, at such a young age of 16. I'm 17 now. I'm a proud Elgin High School Maroon, and I look forward to creating more videos about the history of Elgin. Um, I want to thank my family, my friends, everyone that's contributed to making my life uh, a success at such a young age. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the veterans, active duty military, um, for your service to our country. So thank you. Cap of the 24th Annual Elgin Image Awards in the Heritage Ballroom and the Center of Elgin on Thursday, March 17th. 24 individuals and groups lined up to be introduced to the big crowd. 12 would be named Image Award winners. Several Elgin youth were recognized for their enhancing Elgin image in 2015, including 17-year-old Samuel Olson, who we spoke with before the ceremony. Young Sam Olson has done extensive video works about his city of Elgin. You were nominated last year, nominated again this year. How do you feel? Oh, so excited and so honored to be with all these great nominees. And the history of Elgin is so important for you. How did that come about? You know what? I don't know. I just, Elgin is such an amazing town. How could it not? No question. Of course, you looked at the veterans, you looked at the observatory, and even looking at downtown Elgin. Anything Elgin catches your eye? Um, the police, the fire, the EMS, all the people that really make Elgin safe and a great place to